Hello everybody, welcome to another video. Today you actually find me in Belgrade. I am so excited. Time for an adventure that I've wanted to go on for a very, very long time. We are traveling around the Balkans. It's gonna be a little bit of a mini series. Belgrade, Serbia is our first stop. I'm already in love with this place. I've been here for like, what, an hour? And I absolutely love it. It has so much character. So day two in Serbia's capital. I love it here so much. I'm staying at Nomad Hostel. It's a really nice vibe. I really like it. And it's got this lovely outdoor garden area where I'm just sitting and having my breakfast before I go out and start my day. It is so lovely here, guys, honestly. I'm so excited to explore more of the city. Got just a glimpse of it last night and the vibes were immaculate. We've started off this trip on such a nice and positive note. So this is some kind of like mushroom filled pastry. It's really good, really, really good. I just bought it from the supermarket for like 400 dinars, which is just under three euros, I think. Absolutely incredible. Warmed it up in the microwave. Mm -hmm. Chef's kiss. So I'm at the botanical gardens, of course. Where else would you find me? It's like, if there's botanical gardens in a city, I'm most likely gonna be there. Let's be honest, I just love being around nature and learning about plants. You also get to see, like get to learn so many fun facts about different plants. I mean, not that I remember all of these facts, but it's still really cool and interesting to read and learn about. I'm about to out myself as a nerd, but I love these botanical gardens because they're encouraging you to look at uh, mathematical patterns in nature and how they appear in plants and pollinators and yeah I just love it I love it I'm a huge maths person I always have been I've always loved numbers um, and yeah the the nerd inside me is super happy I'm buzzing you could say I love botanical gardens so much and the reason is that it always reminds me how lucky we are as humans to live on this planet like with all this amazing life plants is something that I just feel like we take for granted and I think it's kind of magical like how there's so many different species and how they've all evolved so differently and how they just do their own thing I think it's absolutely incredible and I just feel really lucky to uh, live in a time where this is a thing I just visited the Museum of Serbian History. It was quite interesting. I couldn't film anything while I was inside. Um, you're allowed to take photos, but you're not allowed to record. So yeah, I didn't really get any, well, I didn't get any footage in there. Um, I took a few photos, but not that many. I was just reading about uh, Serbian history. It had a lot of information for you to read. Um, I do kind of feel like if you have some context, uh, of Balkan history in general it helps but I feel like if I hadn't known what I did already know it would be a lot to like take in and sort of piece together it cost me 400 dinars to get in that seems like quite a standard price for um, museums here it was the same for the botanical gardens that we went to earlier on as well so I'm in a park currently called like student park or something like that honestly there's not that much going on here yeah not much going on apart from an old man literally peeing 
up against one of the walls behind me just after I filmed this clip. I just needed a place to like sit down and eat some food. I just went to a supermarket. I'm also trying a few different pastries. I saw that they have this um, bread. It, it looks like what we have in Greece called kolori. Um, it tastes almost the same as well. It's just slightly more sweet, kind of. I can't quite tell what it is. There's different about it. It tastes sweeter, but it also tastes cheesier, even though there's no cheese on it. They also had these in Poland. These are definitely better than the Polish ones, but I still prefer the Greek ones, but that's only because that's what I'm used to and what I grew up on, basically. I also got these, like, pastries. There we go. We have these in Greece as well, but I just wanted to try them and see how they're different. So I got one with spinach, which is generally my favorite one there was a bunch of other flavors as well actually some sweet ones as well like cherry and apple so i picked one of each up to see what they're like because i've never had them if they're not savory like i've only ever had cheese spinach or spinach and cheese hmm this is different but usually they're crispy but i think because of the time of day they're not you know fresh out the uh, out the oven so they're not as crispy as they usually are no idea what this building is but it's really fancy okay so i'm currently being an organized responsible queen because I just went to pick up some bus tickets for tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow I am leaving uh, Belgrade and Serbia and I am heading down to Sarajevo, uh, which will be in the next video, but I am getting the night bus down um, and I just wanted to get my ticket done because you can buy them online, but it's just, seems so much easier to buy them in person but I was kind of worried that uh, my tickets would <laughs> be sold out just wanted to get that done and sorted so I don't have to worry about it tomorrow I'm certainly glad that I did my tickets today um, it was quite not that it was stressful and complicated but i think i would have been quite stressed to do it tomorrow instead of today so definitely glad that is out the way but i'm now at the fortress and i'm just chilling there's a beautiful view of the river the fortress in belgrade is an absolute must visit you cannot visit this city and not go to the fortress i'm telling you it is stunning you can see so many different things like different viewpoints of the city but also within the fortress there's so many different areas to explore which is why i loved it it is also the perfect sunset spot here you can watch the sunset over the river and let me tell you it's absolutely magical and it's such a beautiful moment to share with all the other people that are there. It genuinely felt so peaceful and you know I love a good sunset and I love a good viewpoint. I would come here every day if I lived here honestly. I think it's absolutely beautiful watching the sunset and its reflection on the rivers as it goes down. Time for something to eat. I've watched the sunset and now I'm heading back to my hostel but I'm gonna make a stop and get something to eat on the way. Um, yeah don't really know what not that hungry but whatever it is i'm sure it'll be good <laughs> for dinner i tried a vegetarian chivapi chivapi is a very traditional and typical dish here in the balkans but it's meat and honestly the vegetarian version i don't think it really translated to what it actually is like i found it to be quite dry um and i didn't love it but i did have it a few times afterwards again so i obviously didn't hate it either next day time to try the cherry pie that i got yesterday 
and it was really good. I wasn't expecting to enjoy it as much as I did. And once again, I decided to walk around my area a little bit. I really enjoyed seeing the contrast between the morning time and the night time. It's very, very lively in the evenings, but in the day, if you walk around in the morning, it's very quiet, the complete opposite. And I feel like you can see it from a different perspective, which I absolutely love. It is my final day in Belgrade and honestly I'm actually sad that it's coming to an end but I'm super excited to go on to my next destination but we're not going to be talking about that in this video. I am currently on my way to the church of St. Sava. Um, it's quite a big well-known church here in the city but it's a little bit out like it is um, about a half an hour walk from where I'm staying um, that's okay it's nice to walk in the city it's very very warm let me just say that it's about 35 degrees so I'm at the church of uh, Saint Sava that's the church that you can see behind me it's very impressive I must say I'm not really a religious person but I feel like this church is a must visit if you're in Belgrade but I am super hungry so I stopped by a bakery nearby um to get some budek i got a cheese budek and i'm gonna try it on camera i mean i don't think it's gonna be anything that i haven't had before but i'm still excited to give it a go let's just say i'm very happy i uh have my lactose tablets with me or lactase tablets but let's give it a go mm, that's good a lot of cheese but it is very similar to what we have in Greece, just bigger and cheaper. I also went and bought um, some trousers because, I mean, it did cross my mind, but for some reason I didn't do anything about it. I'm wearing shorts and I can't go into the church while wearing shorts. But luckily there's a secondhand shop like 500 meters down the road. So I just popped in there quickly, got some uh, trousers and I'm just gonna put them over my shorts and go into the church like that. Um, I considered skipping the church, uh, but I'm already here and it's meant to be really nice on the inside. So I thought I might as well, like the trousers cost me like two and a half euros or the equivalent. I'm really happy I didn't skip this church because it was absolutely stunning. The interior was pretty much all mosaic which was so impressive. I've um, been walking for some time now and I am now going to the visitor center of the National Bank of Serbia. Um, that was a bit of a mouthful to say, I keep on saying the National Bank of Sweden. I wasn't allowed to film in there, so sorry, but um, yeah, there wasn't that much to be fair. Um, it was just one room, but still quite interesting to see i'm now probably gonna find like a cafe or something somewhere to chill because i'm tired i ended up actually finding this bookshop that had seats and a cafe inside so i sat there a little bit but i didn't stay there too long i decided to go towards the bus station a little bit early before the sun sets just so that i basically know where i'm going and that i felt 100 percent safe not that i felt unsafe in belgrade at any point but you know just basic safety precautions i don't really know what the city is like at night time and it's just me and the bus station is a little bit far out so i just wanted to be safe and i ended up going to a cafe just behind the bus station actually there's a really nice area on the river which is super nice to go and watch the sunset. So that's what I did. So I'm just waiting and passing time basically um, to get my bus to Sarajevo. Um, Serbia and Belgrade have been incredible. I've loved it so much and I know for a fact that I'll be coming back. Um, definitely want to see more of Serbia. Mm. This city has so much to offer. There's so many hidden gems and I've loved discovering them, just walking around and finding hidden shops, hidden cafes, hidden things in plain sight. It's one of those places where there's like loads of like little hidden pockets and hidden streets, um, artwork, 
I really really love the vibe of the city and yeah I know for a fact that I will be back but it is time for me to move on to the next part of this adventure I'm just finishing this off on a nice note watching the sunset eating my wrap I have a passion fruit um, tea which is sweeter than I expected but it's all good and yeah the sunset is unreal i loved it from the fortress but i really like it from this view as well it's absolutely stunning i'm gonna end this video here thank you so so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed if you did give it a thumbs up and subscribe and i will see you next time when i'm in bosnia like tomorrow for me but next week for you guys bye